Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Big Coffee, Big Coffee's Outdoors Magazine. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to yet again another episode of Big Coffee's Outdoors Magazine. Guys, really fast, just want to throw a major shout out and a major thank you to the Profound Outdoors community. Guys, Profound Outdoors and Big Coffee have merged together. What I mean by that is, guys, congratulations, Big Coffee. I am now a part of the team of Profound Outdoors. Plan to represent them with all of my heart. Every cast, every catch, every moment is for my son. And they're backing me this year. So shout out to uh, Profound Outdoors for accepting Big Coffee onto the team. Guys, the conditions we're dealing with right now, we've got a ton of rain coming in. It's very windy. I mean, really, really high winds. And frankly, the water clarity everywhere you go is extremely murky. That's due to a lot of the rising waters going on. But this rain did come in kind of warm. So it also tells us that fish are still going to be feeding. Visibility is a major factor. So what you have to do, you got to align yourself with what a fish might be thinking. Let's get into that. All right, guys. So with conditions like this, um, I don't really have the right setup with me right now. My daughter is actually out of school today. Really high winds, uh, really severe storms move through throughout the night so really don't have the setup that I would love to to throw in here right now so I'm actually just going to work with my uh, my 7.6 uh, I got it on the loose super duty right here and I'm just uh, going to be flipping flipping a little jig back and forth I'll let you guys see the color in on this particular jig that we'll be working with today and I know it seems like well man call for that 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 jig color is very close to to that water but it also carries that kind of dark tone there and it'd be kind of be like natural in within the water so this is one of the lures that i would start off using um you know if i'm in an area if i'm in an area like this or where that water's dirty like that guys these fish because that that, that rain came in warm these fish are going to be looking to you know move up get into some of those flooded areas and as they're moving up they're just using those lateral lines to help them feel along the way and some of it is off of sight too guys they, they it's going to be really hard for them to see but once they make contact with that lure kind of drop right in front of their face at times seeing that it's got that dark that kind of dark feel Another thing too, guys, actually going off of what their lateral line gives you. Definitely want to have something that's going to be able to do a little bit of vibrating for you. So we've also got a spinner bait set up on one of our other rods. Something else you might want to think about putting into play. Right now with the sun coming out the way it is, now's the best time to go ahead and get that spinner bait going on them. Just like that, guy. Just like that. Smoked it. Oh, did I lose him? Awesome. Gosh, that was a monster. That was a monster. Ah, come on, coffee. All right, and lastly, guys, this is the other little trick you do. This is why I don't always go directly to a swim jig just yet. Because, like I said, you can flip. You can flip, you can get around some cover, and you're actually using uh, certain certain brush uh, style jigs. But with that three-eighths, you're also able to keep that jig 
up a little bit with the heavier line so I could actually swim this thing so I could get it get it going through and just swim it a lot of times you get bit just doing that We can cast right into the tree just like I did. Beautiful cast. Just like that, just swimming it. He came, he hit, I, I missed. I did miss, I did not give him time to actually take that jig in, but he took that line and he, he ran with it. But I don't think he quite had the jig in his mouth. That's the type of stuff you're looking for, guys. Activity like that right there. Like I said, I don't, I don't really count it as if I have to get that fish, I gotta land that fish. You just wanna make sure conditions wise, you're ready. This is the stuff to get you, get your tournament ready, get you ready just to, to flat out fish on the day. You just gotta know the stuff that's going to, going to get you bit, going to at least get it started for you. And that's what I would rather do. I'd rather put myself in the position to be successful than to uh, not have a clue of what's going on with the day. All right guys, so just right off the bat, those are two, two monster misses. <laughs> I might as well call them, but like I said, Okay. Three. <laughs> Three. I'm hoping that wasn't a fish, but that may have been a fish. I'm going to call it three monster misses. And we'll call it, we'll call it three monster misses. Not that time. Not that time, guys. Not that time. All right, girl, get up here. Like I said, guys, you absolutely want to put yourself in a position to be successful. Sometimes the only way to do that is to play off the conditions. That is pretty much all you're doing all the time, guys. Big Coffee Outdoors Magazine.
Missed him. <laughs> Not yet. I imagine so, but the birds are telling us they're definitely feeding somewhere. Now, I've seen a ton of them over here diving, like a little bit, uh, probably about 30 yards uh, bow of your boat. Oh, yeah. Usually Carolina rig through there. Oh, it's not, it ain't even came up yet. Oh, come here, big girl. Oh, come here, big girl. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Profound, baby. Profound. That's on the cherry bomb. Man. Big Coffee Outdoors Magazine.